Okay guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can make holographic uh, videos to view using the Keynote app. So I'm going to first open Keynote up and from my home screen here I'm going to click on the plus button to create a presentation and I'm just going to select the black background. Um, next I want to get rid of all the content that's already on there so I'm just going to select these text, text boxes and get rid of them. Right, and now what I want to do is place my videos in there. So the plus button up the top of the screen, I'm going to click on that. And albums is already selected, which is brilliant. Uh, next, I'm going to choose videos. I'm just going to scroll down and find a video that I can use. And I'll, I'll use this one here. So select that and click on use. Um, the next thing I need to do is resize this. So I can resize the video by holding my finger on the, the blue circle in the bottom right hand corner. So just in here. And I'm going to just resize that video, make it about that big. All right, then I'll drag it into the center of the, the screen. Now, I want to make four copies of this video, and I want them to have different orientations. I'm going to rotate them each time I make a new copy. So all I want to do is touch on the video, click Copy, then touch somewhere else on the screen and touch again, and click Paste. And what I'm going to do is rotate this. So I want to rotate it in this... Oh, Rotate it this way, and then I can drag that back into position. Now I need to do that two more times. So select the video, and it's not letting me rotate it for some reason. Let's try that again. There we go. And bring that back into position. Now you might need to resize these a couple of times. You want them all to be the same size as each other, but you want them to fit nicely on the screen as well and be positioned almost tip to tip. All right, and one more. And we'll bring that over here. All right, so now that I've got my four videos placed in there, the great thing about Keynote is you, because of the guides that come up with it, you can tell when videos are to uh, unaligned or different sizes. So this isn't perfect, but it'll do for now. The more precise you make this, the, the better your video will go. But you basically want all these videos at equal distances apart from the center. You want them the same size, but to have uh, those various rotations here. So what we do next is we select the first video we put in, the one at the top. And I now want to click on Animate. And once animates come up, or, oh, sorry, once this option's come up, I'm next going to touch on Start Movie. And under the Options tab, I want it to start on Tap, which is brilliant. Okay, I want to make sure that happens uh, now, sorry, the other three videos, I want them to start at the same time on that first tap. So I'll select my second movie and Start Movie. And I'll select with previous build. All right. And once that's done, I can just tap on the side. I'll select the third movie I put in here. Again, click on Start Movie, select with Previous Build, and finally with the fourth one, Start Movie with Previous Build. Now, once you've done those, you can just click on Done. Almost there. Next thing we need to do is click on our first movie, and we're going to select the paintbrush just up in the top uh, bar of icons there, and I'm going to choose from the Movie tab, Loop. That just means the video is going to keep on uh, playing in loop. Now, I want to do that for each of them. So I'll choose my second movie, now go back in here and click loop, third movie, paintbrush, loop, and you can just tap on the side once you're done, fourth movie, paintbrush, loop, done, and now this uh, presentation is ready to, to view as a holographic video. So if you've got your holographic projector ready, you can get that out, and all I'm going to do is press on the, play, the plus button, or sorry, the play button at the top right hand corner, 